is Captain Chaudhary. In this session, I am going to talk about the errors on mechanical gyro. Mechanical gyros have got uh, about seven errors. Uh, we have already talked about two of the errors. That is uh, uh, damping error and not south speed error. We will quickly summarize these two errors also. Like damping error is easterly in northern hemisphere, westerly in southern hemisphere, and it is equal to rho into 57.3 gram of latitude. This error will be there even at anchorage. It does not need the speed. Torsion motor precision. Equivalent precision is created opposite to the damping precision so that the damping precision can be balanced. And this is how the correction is done by the adjustment of latitude which is available in the gyro console. Now the second error that is not south speed error is uh, uh, given by the expression tan delta is equal to V cos cos upon 902.5 cos L plus V sin cos or in general we may write plus minus V sin cos. What we may remember is on northerly courses the error is westerly and on the southerly courses the error is easterly. For certain numericals, when uh, we compare the gyros, particularly the gyros which are damped in azimuth in two different latitudes with probably two different speeds, etc., then for comparison purposes, we may use a slightly approximate formula, not exactly approximate formula, which will give more or less the same results. What we may do is we may neglect the second part of the denominator. V sine course can be neglected because it is too small compared to 902.5 cos L. So approximately we can write tan delta is equal to V cos cos upon 902.5 cos L. Now approximately this can be written, particularly when we are comparing the two gyros in two different latitudes. Now 902.5 is like V, V is 902.5. Now, instead of V, we may write R omega, where R is the radius of the earth and omega is the angular speed. That is the approximate formula can be written as delta is equal to V cos cos upon R omega cos L. Now, we will be using this approximate formula in uh, one of our derivations that is Schuller tuning, which I told you earlier about. Cosine cam is connected to the underside of azimuth gear and uh, most of the error can be corrected by that. Error number three is change of north-south speed error. Now many times it so happens like for example in pilotage water, pilot is sometimes going at slow speed stop engine and sometimes is on full ahead. Of course the latitude is more or less constant but one is not expected to every time do the correction on the gyro. There is a particular setting that is done in the gyro and in practice something else is happening. So there is a change of north-south speed. Uh, we will call the error which is happening because of this and we will categorize this error as change of north-south speed error. We will again talk about this error a little later but let me name the error number four and that is uh, ballistic deflection. Now what is this ballistic deflection? Ballistic refers to the mercury which is placed in the mercury pots. Mercury goes from one pot to other pot, particularly from north to south or south to north. Now this would happen when there is an acceleration which is related to north-south speed. So upon the change of north-south speed, there is bound to be some acceleration and acceleration will cause the change of position of mercury from north to south port or south to north port. We are referring to that. Now this ballistic deflection will cause artificial tilt. And Jaro feels therefore the torque in vertical plane. And to answer this torque in vertical plane, the Jaro axle precesses in a horizontal plane. And that is what is called ballistic deflection. Now what we want to do is we want to make this error number three which is change of north-south speed error. 
equal and similar to ballistic deflection. We don't want to make equal and opposite. If it is equal and opposite, what will happen is one correction wants to pull the axle this way, another correction wants to pull the axle this way, and the axle is going to wander to and fro. To stop that, what we want to do is we want to make the correction equal in amplitude and also similar so that a correction that is done by one method suffices the correction which is required by the other corrector. So this is called uh, the equalization of change of north south speed error and ballistic deflection. The errors are made equal and similar. Now because of the mercury changing position from north to south or south to north part because of the linear acceleration of the ship the instrument gets tilted and therefore there is a difference between the apparent horizontal and the real horizontal and that angle is given by beta. So we say tan of beta in degrees is equal to A upon G. A is the ship's acceleration in 4.5 direction or uh, linear acceleration whereas G is acceleration due to gravity. For small angles B in radians can be considered as equal to a upon G for the small angles. If we talk about the precision, precision is equal to B beta upon H. B beta upon H. H is the angular momentum. Now if we place the values of beta as A upon G, it becomes BA upon H G. If the action happens for T seconds, Right, the amount of ballistic deflection will be the rate multiplied by the time, so it becomes B A T upon H G. The A that is the linear acceleration refers to the change of north south speed divided by T. So, first north south speed is say V1 cos course 1, the second one is V2 cos course 2 divided by T would be the acceleration. Let me substitute A equal to this expression in this formula. So ballistic deflection will be equal to B T upon H G the whole thing multiplied by V1 cos course 1 difference V2 cos course 2. Now this is ballistic deflection. Error number 4. Now error number 3 is change of north south speed. Let us see what is change of north south speed. So it is V1 cos course 1 difference V2 cos course 2. This is the change of north south speed. But because of this change of north south speed, let us find out what is the change of north south speed error. We know the approximate formula for delta is V cos course divided by R omega cos L. So the change of north south speed error will be delta 1 difference delta 2. So can I say V1 cos course 1 difference V2 cos course 2 divided by R omega cos L. So if we say this is ballistic deflection and if we say this is uh, change of north south speed error the two should be equal for doing the shoulder tuning. And when we equate them, right, when we equate them, before we equate them, let us uh, observe these formulae carefully. Now where this is dependent only on the change of north-south speed, this is also dependent on the latitude. So there is a difference. So this adjustment that we are doing, we cannot do for all the latitudes in one adjustment. So we do it for one of the latitudes, say 45 degrees. So adjustment is done. For 45 degrees that means latitude value will be taking eventually as 45 degrees when we equate the two we will find that the v1 cos course 1 difference v2 cos course 2 gets cancelled and what we get is now we forgot this small t here this small t and big t gets cancelled on its own now when we equate the uh, when we equate the two errors what we will get is b upon h g is equal to 1 upon r omega cos l. 
So this can be uh, written as R R upon G R comes on this side, G remains there equal to H upon capital B omega cos L. So by the adjustment what I have done is R I brought on the left hand side so it comes on the numerator R upon G will become H upon B on the right hand side and on the denominator we have omega cos latitude. What I can do is I can under root both the sides and both the sides I can multiply by 2 pi. But this particular expression 2 pi under root R upon G is the periodic time of a pendulum whose length is equal to radius of the earth. This is uh, similar to a general formula for period of pendulum that is 2 pi under root L upon G. Right? So this becomes approximately, this amount is approximately 84 and a half minutes. Now this 84 and a half minute uh, should be equal to this in latitude 45 degrees. So the values of uh, omega is a constant because it is uh, the angular speed of the earth. So the values of h and b are chosen in such a way that the expression, this expression which you see that is 2 pi under root h upon b omega cos l becomes 84 and a half minutes. This is called Schuler tuning and this is how we take care of error number 3 and 4. Now we will talk about the error number 5 that is a ballistic tilt. We have seen in case of the gyros damped in tilt a very small part of the control precision is used in a perpendicular direction as damping precision. Something similar to that. Uh, the error number 4 that we talked about was ballistic deflection. Ballistic deflection happens in horizontal plane. 90 degrees to that is a vertical plane in which movement of the axle would take place on the similar lines of that control precision and damping precision. A very small amount of tilt that will be called ballistic tilt. With this ballistic tilt some amount of precision in horizontal plane might take place with the axle. So therefore the error is very small and it is kept small by keeping the damping ratio small. Okay. Now we will talk about error number 6 and that error number 6 is first intercardinal rolling error. What is this intercardinal rolling error? This error comes into play because of the rolling. Before we talk about the error, let us try and understand a simple uh, uh, example which I will show. Suppose uh, you have a loop, right? naturally the loop is uh, not homogeneously weighed like a sphere, right? You have extra mass along the periphery, right? And perpendicular to this loop's plane, there is no mass. There is no much mass. So what happens is, if I keep it swinging and leave it swinging for some time, you know, uh, it is very interesting to note that the plane of the loop and plane of the swing will synchronize. That means even if you had uh, uh, randomly uh, made it swinging, after some time you will find that the plane of loop has come in plane of swing. Something like this happens in gyro also. We will not go into the complications of uh, sensitive element and phantom ring etc. What we will assume that there is something like loop in the gyro and perpendicular to the loop you have the axle. You have the axle of gyro which is perpendicular to the plane of loop. Now what happens when the ship is heading say north or south and rolling. Now as the ship rolls the axle is pointing north. Naturally if the axle is pointing north the loop is in the east-west plane and the ship is rolling in east-west plane. The heavier part of the loop that is the plane of the loop is already in the plane of roll. So there is no necessity for the axle to uh, process horizontally. So this error is not there when the vessel is heading north or south. What happens when the ship is heading east or west? Let's look at the ship heading east or west. With the east heading, if the ship rolls, the plane of rolling is not so. 
Plane of rolling is north-south, but plane of loop is east-west. Remember, plane of loop is perpendicular to the axle. The plane of loop is east-west. Naturally, loop will have maximum tendency to turn. Loop is not in the plane of swing, so it will have maximum tendency to turn. So the error could be maximum, but fortunately, what happens in the port roll is cancelled by the starboard roll. So on the opposite rolls, this error gets cancelled. So can we say that on the north-south heading, the error is not there. And when the vessel is heading east or west, the error is maximum, but it gets cancelled on opposite rolls. So this particular error, that is a tendency of the loop to turn in horizontal plane, is maximum on intercardinal heading. So this is called first intercardinal rolling error. Just to reduce the error, compensatory weights are kept in the plane that is perpendicular to the plane of loop. Tendency for the heavier part to turn in the plane of uh, roll will be reduced. Let's go on to the error number seven, that is second intercardinal rolling error. Now, because of the shift of mercury from north to south or south to north part, what might happen is the axle might feel that there is a tilt and actually it is an artificial tilt. But axle feels that there is a kind of tilt which is causing a torque in vertical plane. And the result of the torque in vertical plane, you know, it is precision in horizontal plane. That would give rise to an error and that is called second intercardinal rolling error. Now what happens on north and south heading? If the vessel is heading north or south, suppose uh, here is a vessel which is heading north and she is rolling. If she is rolling, she is rolling in the east-west plane. So if the mercury has to go from one pot to other pot, it will go from east to west or west to east. It will not go from north to south or south to north. So if the mercury is not going or getting transferred in north-south pots, this error will not be there. So this error is not there when the vessel is heading north and rolling or south and rolling. Let us see what happens when the vessel is heading, say, east. When the vessel is heading east and the vessel is rolling, the vessel is rolling in north-south plane. And if the vessel is rolling in north-south plane, and let us say, in the plan view, you see the ports which are north and south ports. There is maximum chance of the mercury going from south to north ports or north to south port. And when this happens, the error is going to be tremendous or maximum, you may say. But fortunately, what happens on the port roll will get cancelled by the starboard roll. So once again, we may say for the second intercardinal rolling error, that the error is zero or minimum on north-south headings and it is maximum but cancelled on east-west headings. So, uh, therefore, the error is maximum in the intercardinal direction. This error basically would be there because the mercury very swiftly goes from one pot to other. So the error will depend on the free surface area of the mercury number one and number two the size of capillary tubes which are connecting. So what can be done is the flow tubes of mercury they can be constricted further to reduce the error. So these were the errors for the mechanical gyro. We talked about seven errors and uh, the method by which they can be controlled or they are compensated.